Good morning, children. How are you? I hope everyone are good and safe at home. I am your teacher of mathematics. Today, I am going to teach you number concept 0 to 50. Okay. In this, I will teach you one subtopic that is greater than and less than. The topic is greater than and less than. Today's topic is greater than and less than. This is our heading greater than and less than. Here one box is given. In this, ring the numbers greater than 9. Greater than 9. We should ring the numbers greater than 9. Greater than 9 means of after 9, what are the numbers will come? For that numbers, we should circle it. Okay. Is it clear, children? After 9, what are the numbers will come? For that numbers, we should circle it. Now, here I will give you some numbers. Let us read first. 5, 7, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 19, 4, 15, 6, 12, 19. These are the numbers children. After 9, what are the numbers will come? That one we should circle here means greater than 9. Okay. See first one number is 5. 5 is greater than 9 or less than 9? It's less than 9. So it is small number compared to 9. 5 is a small number. So we should not circle the 5. Next number is 7. 7 is big number or small number compared to 9? 7 is a small number. It is less than 9. So we should not circle it. Next number is 10. 10 is big number or small number compared to 9? It is a big number because 10 comes after 9. 9 after 10, no. So it is a big number. So 10 is greater than 9. So we should circle it. Now 2. 2 is small number or big number compared to 9? It is a small number. 2 is less than 9. So, we should not circle it. Now, 14. 14 is a big number or small number compared to 9. It is a big number. So, we should circle it. 14 is greater than 9. No. So, it is a big number. So, we should circle it. Now, 16. 16 is a big number or small number compared to 9. 16 is a big number. So, 16 is greater than 9. So, we should circle 16. Now, 19. 19 is big number or small number compared to 9? 19. 19 is a big number. So, 19 is greater than 9. So, we should circle 19. Now, 4. 4 is big number or small number compared to 9? It is a small number. So, we should not circle it. Now, 15. 15 is a big number or small number? 15 is a big number compared to 9. So, 15 is greater than 9. So, we should circle it. Now, 6. 6 is big number or small number compared to 9? 6 is a small number. 66 less than 9. So, we should not circle it. Now, 12. 12 is a big number or small number compared to 9? 12 is a big number. 12 is greater than 9. So, we should circle it. Now, 19. 19 is a big number or small number compared to 9? 19. 19 is a big number. 19 is greater than 9. So, we should circle 19. Is it clear, children? Did you understand? After 9, what are the numbers will come? For that numbers, we should circle it. So, these numbers are greater than 9, circled numbers. Okay. Those are big numbers compared to 9. So, 
10 is greater than 9, 14 is greater than 9, 16 is greater than 9, 19 is greater than 9, 15 is greater than 9, 12 is greater than 9, and 19 is greater than 9. Okay. Now we'll do next problem. Here, ring the numbers less than 16. Small numbers compared to 16, small numbers we should circle here. Okay. Before that, we should see the numbers. What are the numbers are given? We should see first. 9, 17, 5, 18, 12, 8, 20, 6, 12, 15, 21, 19. These are the numbers. Here we should circle the numbers which are small compared to 16. Okay? Is it clear? Small numbers we should circle here compared to which number? 16. Okay? See here. First one is 9. 9 is small number or big number compared to 16. It is a small number. So we should circle it. 9 is less than 16. Okay, now 17. 17 is big number or small number compared to 16? 17 is a big number. So, we should not circle it. Now, 5. 5 is big number or small number compared to 16? It is a small number. 5 is less than 16. So, we should circle it. Now, 18. 18 is a big number or small number compared to 16? It is a big number. So, we should not circle it. Now 12. 12 is a big number or small number compared to 16? 12 is a small number. 12 is less than 16. So we should circle it. Now 8. 8 is a big number or small number compared to 16? It is a small number. 8 is less than 16. So we should circle it. Now 20. 20 is big number or small number compared to 16? 20 is a big number. Okay, so we should not circle it. Now 6. 6 is a big number or small number compared to 16. It is a small number. 6 is less than 16. Now 12. 12 is a small number compared to 16. Is it right? So we should circle it. 15. 15 is a big number or small number compared to 16. It is a small number. 15 is less than 16. So we should circle it. 21 is big number or small number? Yes, 21 is a big number compared to 16. Now 19. 19 is a big number or small number compared to 16? 19 is a big number. So we should not circle it. These are the problems. That is greater than and less than. Greater than means uh, after numbers we should circle it. And less than means before numbers, back count. Before numbers, we should circle it. Which are the small numbers compared to given number. Okay. See, we use greater than for showing, greater than and less than for showing, less than. Greater than and less than symbols are given here, children. See clearly, understand it. Now, these are the topics, children. Before concluding this, I will give you an assignment. See, ring the numbers less than 36. Compared to 36, which are the small numbers, that one we should circle it here. See, numbers 23, 49, 37, 48, 39, 18, 31, 46, 49, 35. These are the numbers children compared to 36. Which numbers are small? That one we should circle it. First one 23. 23 is small, small number or big number compared to 36. It is a small number. So we should circle it. Now 49. 49 is a big or small compared to 36. It is a big number. So we should not circle it. Now 37. 37 is a big number or small number compared to 36. It is a big number. 
So we should not circulate. Now 32. 32 is a big number or small number here? It is a small number compared to 36. So we should circulate. Now 30. 30 is a small number compared to 36. So we should circulate. Now 41. 41 is a big number compared to 36. So we should not circulate. Now 39. 39 is a big number compared to 36. So we should not circulate. 18. 18 is a small number compared to 36. So we should circulate. Now 31. 31 is a small number compared to 36. So we should circulate. Now 46. 46 is a big number compared to 36. So we should not circulate. 49. 49 also big number compared to 36. So we should not circulate. Now 35. 35 is a small number compared to 36. So we should circulate. Okay children. Is it clear? Now one more problem is there. That is ring the numbers greater than 42. 42 after numbers we should circle here. It means big numbers compared to 42 which are the big numbers that one we should circle here. First we should see the numbers 47, 16, 25, 46, 50, 34, 45, 44, 31, 29, 70 and 47. These are the numbers children. We should uh, circle the numbers which are the big numbers compared to 42. Okay. First one is 47. 47 is a big number compared to 42. So we should circle it. 16. 16 is a small number compared to 42. So we should not circle it. 25 is a small number compared to 42. So we should not circle it. 46 is a big number compared to 42. So we should circle it. 50 is a big number compared to 42. So we should circle it. 34 is a small number compared to 42. So we should not circle it. Now 45. 45 is a big number compared to 42. So we should circle it. 44 is a big number compared to 42. So we should circle it. 31 is a small number compared to 42. So we should not circle it. 29 is a small number compared to 42. So we should not circle it. 17 is a for small number compared to 42. So we should not circle it. 49 is a big number compared to 42. So we should circle it. This is for today children. We should meet, we will meet in the next video. Okay. Do the assignment properly and neatly. Okay. And submit the pics to me. Okay children. Bye. Thank you children. Take care. And bye-bye.